Hey guys. All right, now welcome back to another video. We're doing another video together. Look who it is. It's Andy. Woo. All right. We have a free evening where we have no other plans. Nothing else is going on. We have a little tag along back there. And our older daughter, who, if you do not know, Ooh, is, is homeschooled. <laughs> so she's getting her clarinet lesson. Yeah. What is our task this evening, Andy? Well, I uh, I just got done with work. It's a Friday. And decided I didn't have anything particular planned ahead of time mm -hmm. to do this evening, which is rare. So I'm like, well, what needs to get done? Uh, my Our chicken coop has been needing some repairs. Let's go take a look. Last year we had the mobile coop, if you remember, which is this wonderful area right here. It's a um, where all we have this wonderful compost that we've been using in our garden this year, and that's worked out really well. Uh, but we sold the mobile coop because of a big long story that we can maybe go into some other time. Um, but we sold the mobile coop uh, and got rid of that and transitioned our chickens, some of our chickens, back to I see it. our original coop. Um, so we're moving them. We moved them back to the coop, and mm -hmm. the door that I put I up them. Uh, originally when we moved out here. This used to be a little tool shop. Um, Let's look at it, and Andy will explain it. So this is the old rusty but trusty chicken coop that we first put together, hobbled together when we first moved out here. Um, as you can see, it's it's an okay shape. It's not in bad shape by any means, uh, but the door needs to be fixed. So that's what I'm going to work on today. Uh, this used to be a little tack shed for the people who owned the place before us as horses. Um, so I fixed the door on it. The door was in bad shape. Put a new door on it with some scrap materials we had laying around here. Put some ring roosting bars in it. Put a place in to hang a feeder. Built some nesting boxes. As you can see, we have some eggs to pick up. I'll leave those for Layla. That's her job. She'll do those later. And you know, it's just been a great uh, chicken coop. Uh, the system we have here that we kind of first built was chickens stay in here and uh, this is it's well sheltered so that it can protect them at night when they're roosted from any outside critters um, we have the outside area for them while we when we go on vacation and that kind of stuff for them Mom, to be secured in. Over there. and then the inside area for them to roost at night their droppings Mom, go into over there. Um, some pine shavings um, and then we take those droppings Mom. that we clean out from their coop Mom and throw them into our compost pile, which we put right next to it before. So it's worked out really good. We make compost, we take care of chickens all in one shot, and then we use it on our garden. So let's get started on this door. What you gonna do first, Andy? I need some tools. So I just remembered we're gonna need tape measure because I gotta measure that door. Mm -hmm. And I got an old other door that mm -hmm. I wanna use okay. to replace that one if it's the right size. If it's not the right size, we'll have to build a new one from scrap. Oh. Kinda wanna put a window in it again too. Okay. We'll see how this, complicated This is probably is. gonna be longer than this evening process. I mean, you, you, you never, do. never get anywhere if you don't start. So, I'm right. gonna tape measure, go check out the other door, get a measurement off of this one, take it off the hinges, here we go. All right, well, we just need to choose the right bits. Looks like we got some Phillips bits and a couple of star heads there. So, just get my 
fancy dancy kit here. And uh, there's a nice star bit. Phillips bit's already in. Let's get these taken out. As you can see, this thing is shot. Windows all cracked. I put some tape on it last year just to get it through the winter so the chickens weren't freezing to death. So, I've got another door down there in the barn. Let's go check it out. So I measured our door. It's 33 and a half by 58 and a half inches. So the door I got in here. Hi kitty. Another kitty. Right here, this came up off of our mobile coop before I put a different door on that one. And we just need to see if that's the right size. It's already painted. Classic theme. Very black and white. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Might not be wide enough. Might have to improvise. 55 and a half. Well, I don't know what I just said. Um, I don't think that's big enough. So, we might have to build a new door. Or let's see what we can do. Well, I've taken inventory of our doors. This is the door I brought from down there. It's not wide enough and not tall enough. Uh, and that door is shut, so I think I'm gonna have to build a new one and cobble together what I have um, to get to the new door. So that's what we're gonna do. So I found we have these old doors from our old chicken tractors we tore down. I'm going to use the wood from this to build our new doors. It's already treated lumber, so uh, it'll work good, stand up to the elements and the rain, snow, wind, and cold we have here in Minnesota. So I want to reuse these. Got another one back there too. Progress. 
just framing up the door, new door, using our wood, probably taking apart a piece of other gate thingy. Measure once, cut twice. Um. <laughs> Measure twice, cut once. Right. That's what we're going for. You see a little guy over the at the Durango. park over there? I just got Durango. What? <laughs> the guy's a lot mowing the lawn right over there. Alright friends, a little bit later, uh, I did bedtime and stuff, and Andy was still working on the door. How'd you do Andy? Yeah, not done yet. We've run out of light. Yep, there's the sun. But... Oh, sorry. Okay. I got this done. So yeah, that's the new door. Obviously still got to cover it. Running out of light, so I have to put the old one back on to keep the critters off the chickens. So that's what I'm going to go do right now. What do you think about that? It's been a good door. It's seen uh, many winters, but uh, you know, this is what happens when you don't use treated lumber or cedar or something that can stand the weather. And we even painted it, but it just doesn't stand up. And that lasted us, you know, five years. So, so not bad, five years. Some wood scraps we found around the place. Can't complain about that. It's cheaper, that's for sure. All right guys, thanks for following along today as we, Andy, worked on the chicken coop door. Uh, we will see you around next time. Bye. <laughs>